Well, myelodysplastic syndrome is a very unusual blood disorder which is very wrongly interpreted as anemia of long duration. Happens commonly in elderly age group. Normally, around 65-70 is the usual age group in which patient presents. And at this juncture, the global incidence is quite high. Almost 4 in 100,000 people are diagnosed with this condition. What exactly happens? Well, a patient comes with fatigue, long-standing fatigue, lethargy, sometimes mild headache and very non-specific symptoms when a blood uh, count is ordered, a CBC is ordered and we find there's anemia with macrocytosis. There can also be low WBC count, sometimes low platelet count noted. How do we confirm this? Well, the confirmation normally lies in doing a bone marrow test and tests like karyotyping and FISH test is recommended and we classify them as MDS with low blast or excess blast. Well, how do we treat them? As I said, it commonly happens in older age group and therefore in older age group, the options are less and mostly focused around a group of uh, drug called hypomethylating agent. It could be decitabin or azacitidine along with sometimes an oral tablet called venetoclax with antifungal. For a younger patient, the definitive treatment is hemopoietic stem cell transplant Often patients don't fall in this category and require long-term hypomethylating agent with or without venetoclax. What happens if you don't treat them? Well, if you don't treat them, this can transform into secondary acute myeloid leukemia, which is obviously a life-threatening condition. So remember, a long-standing treatment of B12 deficiency or folate deficiency, then please get yourself checked thoroughly to find out whether it's being misdiagnosed and it's actually an underlying MDS. Thank you.